Good morning, everybody. My name is Simon Wilmore. I'm from Brack Guides, BrackGuides.com, and I'm here today with Susanna Siri from our Tribe Travels. Good morning, Susanna. Good morning. Okay, Susanna, we're talking today about Thieving Around, which is the new book published by Brack Guides, Our Tribe Travels, and Grip. So perhaps you could tell me a little bit about the book. Yeah, so Kidding Around is 35 true life tales from families about their travel adventures. And I think what I love about it is it shows that family travel doesn't always run smoothly, but you have to have an experience and a tale to tell, which you'll probably tell for many years to come. Definitely. I think that's exactly what the book is. It's kind of celebrating. Maybe, maybe some memories are going to be wonderful and perfect. Some are going to be a little bit less perfect, but that, that's always part of the fun. Maybe you could give me your top two or three kind of budgeting tips for families who want to do more long-term travel, not just an adventurous holiday, but for something that they want to incorporate into their lives on a, on a more permanent basis. Yeah, I think the biggest cost you'll have when you're traveling long term is the actual travel. So um, even from the initial flights, if you're able to find a bargain using something like Hopper, where you set up the alerts and try and get your initial flight at a lower cost and at the optimum price, that's that's something I would recommend. Then once you're actually traveling, that, that again, the travel costs are going to be the most expensive. So think cleverly about where you book your flights from. So, for example, um, there's a huge difference in flight costs between Singapore and Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia's got a great hub for Air Asia. So if you can just take a bus from Singapore up to Malaysia, then that's a perfect location to find very cheap flights across the whole of Asia. And also stay in um, stay in one location for a longer period of time. Once you stay for two or three weeks, your accommodation costs will drop massively. Um, and some things that our families love doing actually, which probably don't spring to mind, is pet sitting. I know that sounds a bit odd, but so many people all over the world want to go on their two week holiday and not have to pay for a kennel. So they will open up their home and you can stay in their house for free just to look after their dog. <laughs> get to hang out with a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of workaway placements, but it's something that often is marketed towards sort of the younger generation. But actually, there are quite a few placements for families now. So you can live on a local farm, um, have free accommodation, free food in exchange for helping out and doing odd jobs. So that's a great way of sort of stretching out your budget and having a really unique experience at the same time. I, I would say don't dismiss hostels as well, actually. I know people think of hostels as something that you'd stay in when you're 20. But the hostels these days, I don't know if you've been any... You know, they're amazing. They're clean and quiet. Yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong. OK, thanks very much for your time today, Susanna. Thanks for talking. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So uh, Kidding Around is now available at brackguides.com. That's B-R-A-D-T guides.com. Thanks, Susanna. No worries. Have a lovely day. Cheers.